Hey guys, it's MJ, the student actuary, and in this video, we're going to be looking at how much does it cost to become an actuary. Um, but before we go into the whole video, I just want to I just want to show you guys these are the stats of who's actually been watching my videos. So a big shout out to India for taking a top place. I know America was leading a few months ago. And, um, and where's Kenya? I mean, Kenya used to actually be, be on the top five, and so were the Netherlands. I don't know what's happened to you guys. But anyway, just a quick heads up. This video is all, it's, yeah, it's basically all going to be on South Africa. So we're going to be looking at how much does it cost to become a South Africa, how much does it cost to become an actuary in South Africa. So all the values are going to be in rands and is going to be um, according to the South African Association. And seeing that only 17% of my viewers are from South Africa, it's like, why am I doing this? Well, because South Africa is the best country in the world, and I'd highly recommend everybody to immigrate here and study actuarial science here, because we're just awesome. Anyway, um, also something that's South African, the reason I'm doing this video is recently there's been a whole protest in our education um, environment with this whole fees must fall protest. And that got me thinking, well, how much are the fees to become an actuary and that's what this video is going to explore so we're going to be looking at what are the general fees how much do you pay for exams um, I'm not actually going to be looking into university fees because that varies amongst the different uh, institutions um, I will be looking at courses I will be looking at the studying materials I'm going to talk a little bit about the events but I'm not going to include that in the, the final calculation you'll see more about that later um, I'll talk a little bit about tuition, I will introduce some sundry costs, and bear in mind there are lots of opportunity costs about becoming an actuary, but again, those are very subjective or very difficult to quantify, so I will be excluding them from this video, but I mean the main one is, you know, sacrificing your social life. But we can't put a, a monetary value to that, so it will be excluded in this discussion. So let's look at fees. Um, to become an actuary, the first thing you need to do is, you know, join the club, become a, a student member, as they say. And this is going to cost you around 480 rand. Um, just a quick conversion. It's, it's around 10 to 15 rand a dollar, an American dollar. So you can use that kind of, you know, to try and convert into whatever currency you're at. So yeah, 480, sorry, for um, fees to start up. And then you've got like around a 650 rand fee um, if you're a student. I think that does go up to 1,800 a year once you become an associate. And um, I'm not going to do this all the time, but this is like just an excerpt of one of the invoices I paid. You'll see the fees are a little bit lower because I paid this last year in 2014. And there has been a big increase in fees. So obviously the protesters didn't um, target the actuarial association when they did their whole protest. But anyway, um, let's put the politics and that stuff aside and focus on the topic at hand. So the fees are increasing quite a bit um, every year. So just bear that in mind. If you're watching this in 2016 or 2017, it's probably going to be like double this, these amounts. Um, but anyway, one of the big expenses are the exams. I mean, you pay to write these exams. Um, the core, core technical subjects, you're paying around 4,725 Rand per subject, and there's eight of these guys. Um, there's also 4,720 for, uh, I think this is CA, CA2, um, then that amount is for CA3. These are like the modeling exam or the communication exam. The, the risk management exam, which is CA1, the notorious, really, really difficult exam, which most people fail, that's 11,000 Rand, almost, almost 12,000 Rand. And bear in mind, if you fail, you have to write these exams again and pay these fees again. But we're going to be working on the assumption that you guys are all super smart and that you pass all these exams first time. So in our final calculation, bear that in mind, it might be a little bit more. Um, then if you're writing some of the specialist subjects, they're 4,290, unless you're doing um, subject ST9, which is Enterprise Risk Management, for some reason that one's a little bit more, that's 6,325 Rand, and then finally the fellowship exam is 4,290. There is a PDF file on the actuarial website with all these fees, that's where I am getting them, so I'm not just like making these up, 
Um, but yeah, those are for the exams. Study material, I mean, this this is a one where you know a lot of people will have different amounts. So what I've done is I went onto actuarial education website and I created like this massive shopping list of all the the ones I would recommend. So I would really recommend getting the maths and stats intro textbooks. Um, I'd also recommend getting, well you always have to get the combined material pack, that's like a given. And then I recommend the asset which is past papers where they go through in detail, revision notes, sound revision if they if they exist, they only exist for some of the subjects, and the flashcards. That's what I recommend. There are a whole bunch of other um, educational resources that you can purchase, but bear in mind, I mean, these things are expensive. So those prices that you're looking at are actually in British pounds. And I don't understand why they're so expensive, because when you buy these things, they send you like a PDF file. You know, so it costs them, the, the variable cost, cost is absolutely zero, uh, you know, if they sell it to one person or 10 people, it doesn't make any difference as you're getting an electronic PDF. I do understand that, you know, they had to pay an actuary um, to write them, so that was expensive. But, I mean, look at some of the price of these things. £127 for a PDF file. I mean, that's that's kind of crazy. For CA1, it's 446 and it is very, it's almost impossible to write the exam without that. So just bear that in mind. Um, but let's convert this to RANDs. I mean, currently, I mean, South African exchange rate is absolutely shot to pieces. I mean, it's almost 22 Rand to a British pound. That is so weak. Back in 2011, it was 10 Rand. So we've kind of like, in the past five years, all our South African value is like almost halved um, with regards to the British pound. So that's sad. Anyway, moving along, um, there are tuition fees. So this is, once you, you can only do so much at university. There's no, no university that I know offers the fellowship course. So you have to pay an additional amount to do the fellowship course through the actuarial society. Um, you don't have to pay. I mean, I wrote the fellowship now, but I didn't pay, I didn't do the tuition thing. I just went in self-studying. But We'll see how I did in that exam. Uh, it might have been smart if I did pay this amount. Uh, but bear in mind, job for the fellowship, you can't do it at university. You have to pay, uh, or you, if you want to, you know, get extra education on it um, from a third party, it is quite expensive. Um, like I said, there are all these events. Um, I'm not going to be including this in the total, but I mean, there's some events are quite fun. You know, there's a golf day that's going to set you back around four thousand rand. Um, I know there was the big actuarial convention, which actually happened quite recently um, in Johannesburg. It was, yeah, I didn't want to go back to Johannesburg, so I didn't go. But, um, I, and I think next year it will be back here in Cape Town. And that's also a few thousand uh, rand to go. I'm not including it in the final cost because it's not compulsory to attend. You know, you don't actually have to go play golf in order to become an actuary. You know, it's just a a fun thing on the side if you want to network and stuff like that. So I'm not going to be including this 4,000 in the final amount. What I am going to be including though are the courses because, and this, this is where it gets really confusing um, from a South African society to the Indian society to the British society because you'll all have different courses and you'll have give them different names. So I'm doing something tomorrow called Workshop 1, which I think in the English guys, you guys call it the business awareness model. And that's going to set me back 3,180 Rand. I'm writing, I'm doing that tomorrow. It's a full day. Um, then there's one for a modeling course, which is like the CA2. So CA2, not only do you write the modeling exam, um, which you pay for, but you also have to pay for the course. So in total, that almost comes to like 10,000 Rand, just CA2. Um, then there's workshop, I think workshop two. That's what we call it. I haven't done that one yet. I don't really know much about it. Then there's this general something module, which is like an online exam. So you go onto a website and you click in some multiple choice and a computer marks it, but you still have to pay like a thousand rand for it. Don't know why. Um, and then there's signing up for some course is 420 rand. Um, like I said, this, this video is not to try and explain the actual course structure because that is very difficult. This is just going through how much it will cost. And then just when you're done, once you've done all your exams, there's the fellowship uh, course, 
which I've heard is actually quite a nice getaway um, from a guy in my office who's just done it, but that'll set you back 8,800 Rand. And then if you had done subject CT9 and you're becoming a Sarah Actree, there is another course that you have to do. And this one is 7,900 Rand per person. I mean, that, that's very expensive. That, these, these courses are expensive. Although, no, wait, 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 sorry, sorry. This course does include coffee on both days. Okay, so it's not that bad. You're going to be getting coffee and tea. So, I mean, okay, that's probably why it's so expensive. Um, but jokes aside, there's also all these sundry fees. I mean, um, you can pay to get your paper remarked. You can pay to get, um, you can pay for exam counseling. So, I just put 2,280. I think that's for... Uh, exam counseling, in case you do fail one, you can go with some guy and he'll talk you through it. I don't know, I've never done that before, but that is a potential cost. Um, and then bear in mind, this the final amount might be much bigger if you fail your exams and you have to retake these exams, um, which is possible. I mean, and that's why if you fail one of these exams, don't worry, we all do, um, but just bear in mind it is going to cost you more money. Um, if you get your exemptions at university, you can actually save quite a bit of money uh, because then you only have to pay 3,000 Rand. So you're not even writing the exam, but you still have to pay money. Again, I don't understand that. But anyway, um, that's 3,000 something something uh, if you get the exemption. I fortunately got it for CA1, which means I didn't have to pay that 11,000 Rand for, throughout the exam. I just had to pay 3,000, which was weird because I also got the exemption for a few other core technical subjects. And again, it was also 3,000. And then the most bizarre thing is that you cannot resell your educational notes. So let's say you bought all those notes for, I think it came to almost 4,000 pounds or something ridiculous. There's a rule that says you're not allowed to sell your notes to anybody on. Once you've bought the notes, it's only for you. You cannot resell them. You cannot share them. You cannot copy the PDF and give it to your mate. Um, though that would save you a lot of money, it is against the rules. So bear in mind, you cannot resell your notes to try get these costs back. So before we give the final amount, which I know you guys are all desperate to, f to figure out, um, this is just the wheel, a quick, just a quick pie chart that I made to visually represent what's the most expensive things. Uh, you can see study material is the biggest chunk, but like I said, you could reduce that if you're very smart to just, you know, you could cut away some of the flash notes. I would not recommend doing that though because then you're probably going to pay more with the exams as you'll have to rewrite the exams. Um, but yeah, that's just a general, general summary. So the big reveal. How much does it cost to become an actuary in South Africa? The answer is 200... I'm going to be like Zoom and be like, I don't know how to pronounce this big long number, but yeah, 200,000, 4,000... Oh my gosh, I can't even say this number. It's so big. But yeah, around 200,000 Rand um, to become an actuary. And just bearing in mind what, I mean, so for the foreign people watching this, uh, this video who don't know what the Rand is, with this amount of money, you could buy a brand new Polo and destroy the environment with this, their emissions. So you can either become an actuary or you can buy a new Polo. And I mean, it looks really good in red. I mean, that, that car looks quite hot. Um, but yeah, this is, this is just a quick little breakdown on the Excel sheet if you guys just want a quick recap of what everything costs. And you can see I've written the names next to it. And yeah, I mean, 200,000 Rand, it kind of roughly, it's around 10,000 pounds. So for the British guys or people who understand pounds better, around 10,000 pounds to become an actuary in South Africa. Like I said, I don't know how much it will cost um, in your own country. It might be more, it might be less. But yeah, that's the end of the video, and I'm just going to leave you guys with this cool picture I made. I hope you guys like it. It's of a building here in Cape Town. Um, Ten points for anyone in the comments section who can guess correctly what building that is. And then um, yesterday, one of my articles got published in the Entrepreneur Magazine's uh, website. So it's five infamous risks. Go check it out. Um, it's very short. It's very cool. Um, and yeah, I hope you enjoy it. But anyway, that's the end of this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section. Click subscribe, click like, click share, click all the buttons you want to click. 
and I'll see you guys um, next time for another video. Cheers.